Hello and welcome to this mini training for teaching music online. My name is Carly Walton and thank you so much for joining me today. You can think of this training as your crash course for teaching online. I'm excited to connect with you because I know that you're an innovative teacher and that you're ready to uplevel your studio by offering online lessons. That is so exciting and I'm thrilled that you've come here to learn. In this training, I'll be sharing with you four key elements of online teaching, which will help you to confidently teach lessons online to both your current students and new students. Before we start, let's talk about five amazing benefits of teaching music online. Number one, you can continue teaching students who move away. You do not have to lose those students that you've worked so hard to build a relationship with. Number two, you can teach while you travel or when you're temporarily away from your studio. If for some reason you need to be away from your studio, you can take all of your lessons online. Number three, you can save money by reducing gas and studio costs. Stop driving to all of your students and teach from home, saving you money and giving you your time back. Number four, keep teaching busy students who would otherwise quit. You know that many students are incredibly busy and have a hard time fitting in a lesson. Online lessons are way more convenient for the student. Number five, expand your studio by marketing to students outside of your town or city. You may live in a place that is totally saturated with teachers, or maybe you have a specialty that you want to focus on. With an online studio, you can market to students around the globe and be way more selective about who you teach. All of the examples I'll be sharing with you come from my experience teaching piano online. However, you could apply all of these principles to most other instruments. Okay, let's jump in. Here is my quick and easy online teaching setup. I'll be sharing a setup that will work for most online teachers and this is the perfect place to start if you're new to online teaching. There are four parts of the setup. Number one, a device. The device you choose for video lessons needs to have a built-in camera and microphone or you can get a webcam and an external microphone. The four devices that you can use for teaching online are a computer, laptop, tablet, or smartphone. These devices will allow you to see and hear your student as well as teach from your instrument. My preferred device is a laptop and more specifically a MacBook Pro. My least preferred device is a smartphone. The screen tends to be too small and the small speaker also makes it hard to hear the students playing. Whichever setup you choose to use, all of your devices need to be up to date and working well. You're not going to have quality online lessons if they are slow or outdated. Let's talk briefly about device positioning. Here are three possible setups for teaching online. The first setup is a laptop or computer on a desk or stand next to your instrument. The next setup is a tablet in a tablet holder. And the third setup is a smartphone up against the piano or in a holder. What I've gone over with you is the most simple and easy setup to start teaching online. If you travel frequently, you can use this basic setup and adapt it as you need depending on where you are. The second thing you need to teach online is video software. These are the software programs that I recommend most. Zoom, Skype, Google Hangouts, FaceTime, and Messenger. What I recommend is choosing one of those software programs to familiarize yourself with and start having your students use that program as well. My recommendation is Zoom for its ease of use, scheduling ability, and group calling capability. The third element of your online teaching setup is software for taking notes. I use Tanara to make lesson assignments for all of my students. Tanara is perfect because you can access it from any device and it's easy to use during a lesson. I also love that it enables the teacher to attach links to videos. It allows you to attach a PDF or even voice memos. The fourth thing you need for your setup is lesson materials. You'll need a physical copy or a digital copy of all of your students' books and materials. Don't feel overwhelmed at all about this. You can start with the music that you currently have and gradually build out your library. I also highly suggest Carol Matt's interactive methods for teaching online. These work so well for online lessons. And if you start collecting your digital music now, you can access that music from a computer or an iPad and you'll truly have a portable system that you can take with you if you need to teach while you travel. Okay, so that's everything that you need for your online teaching basic setup, a device, video calling software, a way to take notes for the student and teaching materials. 
Next, I'm going to give you four ways to implement online lessons with your current studio students. This will help you adjust to the technology, it's going to help you get used to your setup and refine your teaching methods. Once you're comfortable teaching online, you can then start adding full-time online students to your studio and even marketing to students in other locations. So here are four ways to implement online lessons. Number one, teach online when you have a bad weather day. Many of you live in locations where a few times a year you might get pounded with snow or have an occasional tornado warning or heavy rain that isn't safe to drive in. These are perfect opportunities to send an announcement out to your studio, letting them know that lessons are online for that day. Number two, your student is sick. We have all had students who have a cold or a slight fever, and we would rather that they don't come to the studio, but maybe they're feeling okay enough to come to lessons. This is the perfect time for you to have an online lesson with your students. You don't want those germs spread in your studio. Online lessons are a great alternative. Number three, you're sick. So there might be a day when you're feeling under the weather and you don't want to risk getting your students sick by having them come to you. Well, this is a perfect time for you to teach online lessons. Number four, a student's parent has a conflict. As music teachers, we know how busy our students get with varying activities throughout the year. They also come from busy families with busy parents. I've often had a student who couldn't make it to a lesson because their parent couldn't drive them, and that is so frustrating at times. Online lessons for this specific circumstance are so convenient because the parent now doesn't have to bring their child to their lesson or to your house. Your student's parents will love you for offering a convenient online lesson as a solution in this type of situation. Those are a few ways to use online lessons with your current students. And I know that as you become confident in teaching your current students online, that you'll have more confidence moving forward with your online teaching. And eventually you'll be able to fill your hours with online students. The next thing I'm going to share with you are a few pedagogy and online teaching methods. One main concern for teachers is how to actually teach online when you aren't with them physically. It can feel like a strange transition and sometimes uncomfortable if this is something that you've never done before. The good news is, is that there are so many ways that you can use your current teaching skills to effectively teach online. Before I go through these tips, I wanna talk about your mindset as an online teacher. As you begin making this transition, I want you to remember your passion, remember your knowledge, your training, your musicianship, and your personality. All of those things are what make you unique and these are the things that the student needs from you. And you can 100% use those skills online. I know this because I've done it. Now it takes careful planning, it takes creativity, and it takes a lot of hard work. However, it's so worth the work and effort that you put into it. Okay, so here are a few tips to help you actually do the teaching. Number one, be organized. Think ahead for all of your lessons. Plan songs and activities for the specific student. With planning and preparation, your lessons will be filled with exercises that the student needs. Number two, train the student from the beginning to take really good notes and mark their music. You'll notice that as your students mark their music from the beginning, they are likely going to be more attentive and more engaged than your in-person students. This is one of my favorite things about teaching online. Number three, you can use games or apps to break up the lesson for younger students. Here's a few apps that I really love. Music Flash Class is a great one, Tune Train is a great one, Piano Maestro and Tenuto are both fantastic as well. These are going to help you reinforce theory and even improve sight reading. Number four, demonstrate, play, encourage, and motivate. So maybe that was number four, five, six, and seven. <laughs> number four, demonstrate, play, encourage, and motivate. Remember to be the passionate music teacher that you already are. As you share what you love with your students, they're going to respond to your teaching and they'll follow you wherever you take them. Teaching your instrument online may have its challenges, but I've learned that you can absolutely teach effectively online. The benefits of online lessons far outweigh the small challenges that you have to overcome initially. And I'm so excited for you to experience that transition. The last thing that I wanna talk about today is the business of running an online studio. Being professional and having systems in place is so crucial for online studio success. When you are professional and have an organized system, you'll not only keep your clients happy, but you'll also notice that you'll grow your studio faster. Here are a few tips to help you make this transition within your business. Number one, lesson rates. 
Keep your price the same for online lessons and charge a fixed monthly rate. Your time and expertise is just as valuable as an online teacher, so please do not lower your rate. I also recommend charging a fixed monthly rate so that you're not adjusting what a student pays each month. This will make your online business much easier to manage. Number two, offer a trial lesson to new online students. A great way to introduce students to your program is by offering a 15 minute trial lesson. During this trial lesson, you can hear them play, you can help them with their setup, you can set clear expectations for your studio. Number three, adjust your studio policy. Your studio policy should be so simple that it's easy for the parent and the student to understand. I suggest covering four main points in your policy. Your teaching schedule, payment, missed lessons, and discontinuation of lessons. If you can be clear with each of those policies, then your clients will be on the same page as you and that's what you want. Also, creating your studio policy for online teaching will help you automate the enrollment process for new online students so you won't have to re-explain your policies for every new student. Number four is communication. Good communication with your clients is going to make all of the difference. It's going to help you retain students and it's going to bring you loads of referrals. Communicate by sending your students and their parents progress updates, you can send them a monthly newsletter, and you can even invite the parent to attend an online lesson once a month. Those are the four ways to be professional in your online business. Remember that being professional, organized, and clear in your communication is going to enable you to run a business smoothly. It's going to save you so many headaches in the future. Okay, so we've gone over the basic teaching setup, how to implement online lessons, methods for teaching effective lessons, and business tips for the online studio. It would be my privilege to continue walking you through the steps of learning how to teach lessons online. The trend for online lessons is growing more and more, and students are looking for incredible studio teachers like you. I would love to be a part of your journey in helping you build a thriving online studio where you can increase your income, you can control your teaching hours, and you can even teach while you travel. This is an incredible opportunity.